to get married today and I just can't wait to go through life with you and just to have all these experiences with you by my side laughing and having fun and just knowing that you're always going to be there for me and start a family someday and just be able to do all these things with you because there's no one else I'd rather do it with. So. I love you and I can't wait to marry you and I'll see you at the end of the ocean. I feel so much better just like talking to you. I just pray that you keep your hand over me and Lauren through this whole, whole wedding and um, our whole relationship going into marriage. Um, none of this uh, would be possible without you, Lord. Putting me and Lauren together and uh, putting our families together. And I just pray that uh, throughout marriage that you are the uh, God that we lean on and go to for everything and that um, you are the center of our relationship. Lauren, you have no idea how excited I am to be your husband. Um, I've been looking forward to this day for a really long time and looking forward to seeing you in a wedding dress and just to have all of these magical things happen. Um, today is only about me and you and us getting married uh, and making that covenant with the Lord and there's nothing more special than that. And I want you to have the day that you've always dreamed of. I know I am not and never will be perfect, but I vow to never stop putting Jesus at the center of our relationship. I vow to never stop working to treat you with a love that resembles the love he has for the church and the love he has for us. I promise to always put God first and you second. I promise to help you grow and to grow with you. I promise to always be honest and faithful to you. I promise to create a space that makes you feel loved, comforted, and accepted. I vow to not take you for granted, and I vow to love you always. I feel so lucky that God gave me you, and I can't wait to build a life and a family with you. I can't wait for you to become my husband and someday the father of our children. I'm so proud of the man you are and I'm so proud to be your wife. I love you forever until death to us part. Lauren, at the start of our relationship, I had no idea that the next few years of my life would lead to today. I soon realized that you were the person God had put in my life to become my bride. How and when we met was nothing less than the will of God, and I am forever grateful He sent you to me. It is my honor to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may. You've always been my constant. There's never been a moment where I have questioned that you were going to be my wife. The amount of love I have for you cannot be put into words. Having you in my life has made me a better man, and more importantly, a better steward of the Lord. You have shown me an enormous amount of unconditional love, and I promise to always return that love to you. Today we start our lives as one, and it is a journey that I wouldn't take with anyone else. As your husband, I promise to always do my best to lead you in a way that is pleasing to the Lord to benefit our family, sacrificing my own desires for the good of both of us. Of course, my leadership at one point will falter, but I promise to listen and be open to your wisdom. Throughout our relationship, you have taught me so many things about myself that has made me who I am today. I promise to take your wisdom to heart and constantly be learning and growing from every experience we share. I promise to always make you feel like the most important person in any room we walk into. It is a privilege that I am the one who gets to do life with you. I promise to support you in everything you choose to do because I believe nothing in this world is impossible for you to accomplish. 
I promise to always have fun with you and never take life too serious. I cannot wait to be your husband. Nothing I've ever seen compares to how beautiful you are. You are my everything. You always will be. All my love forever, Austin.